Hey everybody here at Timber Honda. Can't emphasize enough. You should run down here as fast as possible if you're a 600 cc motorcycle enthusiast because this 650 CB 650 CBR is not going to last long. 2022 has 100 miles on it. It's like the matte jean blue. And the great news is this bike won't have set up or freight attached to pricing of it. Correct. So the bike's going to be priced really well. But just in the setup and freight, you already know there's a good thousand, twelve hundred dollars that's not going to be even part of the price of this bike. So come see Jack, Jack of all trades, yes, at Timber Honda, and take advantage of the Ice Man that bought a motorcycle twice, bought it, traded it, bought it back, sat in my trailer for this thing sat around for close to two years, and it only now has a hundred miles on it after I rode it. Nothing wrong with it, and. Wow, I guess you can't emphasize enough. Come see Jack, we'll take care of you. Great motorcycle, sure is, good for Oh, I, I gotta get out of this place. I gotta leave, I gotta leave. Guess what? No. Do I do the red one? Do I do the white one? No, do I do the leftover one? No, I go back to the banana. No, what the hell am I gonna do? Hey, stay tuned for more adventures, but I gotta get out you here. You just might find out. Yeah, you just might find out. But I get out here to get on the CSC, the California Sidecar Edition Honda, trike goldwing 2024 white and black hey that makes me a really cool person right white and black yeah hey i'm not racist yeah. all right look at this hey here it so is we can get along yes must be ken so and it's just man what what a treat what a flair what a flavor and i'm gonna head home get some riding time but you know the challenge is with my insta 360 i don't know how i'm gonna mount that because these are such aggressive bars there's no way so i don't know how i'll do that all right well stay tuned for the ride home you know only thing i wonder is why there's not a parking brake on this that makes no sense i mean i know but you think it through you'd think they would have put but oh well, it is what it is. Hey, I'm leaving Timbercon and getting on, getting on the trike. And it's so nice how you can just put your foot right here. And then a big difference is I can kick my leg over here on the Harley. That's so close you can't do that. You hit the back, the back end. Right. So it's a huge difference on this motorcycle over a Harley on how you get off and on it. On a Harley, you literally got to go like this. You have to go kind of like. It's very, very challenging. Yeah, it is. All right, does she start? She's in first gear, so she won't. But she may. Neutral. There it is. Got a nice little exhaust note to it. She'll rip up the road, right? All right. Wowsker, Wowsker, what a great ride home. I love this thing. This thing is so nice. I mean, I'm blown away how this played out. This thing is so comfortable. It's, I'm getting more confident on how it handles, what its capabilities are without getting me in trouble. But oh, I love it. I love this thing. This thing is so cool. I'm so glad I bought it. And yeah, I'm a trike guy now, no doubt. Now, to me, the pluses and minuses, we'll talk about the minuses, Minus is they don't have, doesn't have a parking brake. That makes no sense to me that it doesn't have, because the DCT has a parking brake. So this is a great example how I have so many different vehicles in the collection of my garage. Look over here, 
see right here this is a parking brake so if you pull this up this puts a parking brake on but this is a dct so why wouldn't they have put a parking brake on this manual so it'd be interesting that i can actually look into i wonder if there's a parking brake conversion kit for this because there was i definitely get it the next thing is when you go to reverse mode in this this is a reverse mode i was trying to get over this little bump here in my garage most people have a garage you have to have a lip so water doesn't run into your garage that easily and so when i was trying to back up this thing would not go over this little like miniature curb because and i'm just assuming that it's just a safety feature that honda thinks you're backing into something and doesn't want you to damage something so that's the minus side the plus side this thing really does ride really stable it's night and day on the um it's just night and day from the trike and the harley and i'm a harley guy so i'm not here to bad mouth anybody that has a harley but once again it seems like on the harley davidson to get on that motorcycle it is so much more challenging to get off and on that trike and i'm just assuming it's because of how much closer in this whole wheel the tire wheel setup on the, on the harley if you look at the harley look how stretched this motorcycle is and I'm blessed to have so many motorcycles in my shop where, see how long this thing is? Now, when you go buy an RG3, it's the exact same motorcycle as a Street Glide. Only difference is it has two rear wheels. So look at the length of that motorcycle versus look at the length of this motorcycle. And what I'm trying to convey to you is, on the back side of it, if you look right here, when you put those fender flares on and the wheels in here it's not as easy to get your leg over that area and it's just a really weight rear really weird way how i felt getting off and on that rg3 in the trike and once again it's a shorter chassis i mean it's a huge difference if you measure i'd even be curious at my my tape measure out even with my foot right here i could just walk off from the front of this tire here put my foot like right here so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine so close to about eight and a half eight and a half feet in that wheelbase now you come up here to your uh street glide road glide whatever it may be and and right here i'll just start right there one two three four five six seven i mean it's at least a foot i said that earlier it's at least a foot longer wheelbase i would say 10 inches conservative probably 12 inches and that's a lot and you can actually see it in this machine here and the reason i'm going through a lot of this is because i've never been a trike guy per se but as a progress in life and for my wife I would only hope she would get in the back of this and ride around some just because I think she'd feel more confident on this type of motorcycle. Maybe, maybe not. But also like my dad. But just even for me, just a whole different ride and a fun factor. This is fun to ride. And it's very powerful. And I do actually like the clutch because you do have a little bit more interaction with this before you really start feeling like you're riding just a big old ATV which I can kind of radiate that, if you know what I'm talking about that. And the pluses as well, it doesn't wear me out. The doesn't wear me out. This, this motorcycle is very comfortable, very accommodating, and I'm not fighting the steering wheel. I feel like on the RG3 and the trike, I just feel like there's so much more pressure on you holding those handlebars and steering the motorcycle. And I think it's because of a shorter wheelbase and it has a, a different rake on the motorcycle. This seems to have a little bit more of a, a you know, a, a stronger uh, rake on it. And it may be like up here in the breakout. Maybe we can kind of look at the two bikes here and see if there's much of a difference in rake. And you can. Look at that rake to that rake. So I think that's the Honda Goldwing trike rake versus they don't do that. I don't believe they do it. So you can fix me, you know, you know correct me from my comments. So, wow, and I still have the Goldwing just to ride as well. And, but, once again, wow, and wow, and wow. But 
when I think the, the minuses are there's no parking brake, which is kind of ridiculous, and the backup feature. I got to get in two with the bike. The navigation doesn't seem to be activating, and I got a half a tank of fuel, which isn't really a big deal. But that's another thing I was kind of really amazed. Is this thing showing I'm getting like 50 miles per gallon? What is this here? Or is that my um, how many miles I have to go before I'm out of fuel? That's that's probably what that is. But they're trying to figure out how to go through all these little menus. It's very you know complicated when you try to get through all these little information displays. And I'll work on that later and, and share with you what I'm getting at fuel mileage later. But that okay. So navigation is being initialized. But is that now because I own this? That's pretty cool. No, it's not doing it correctly. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, I can maybe go through here. Fuel consumption. Oh, 29.2. So there it is. So I, was th I thought I was getting higher than that. So it's about a 30 mile per gallon vehicle. This is very interesting. Look at here where this is showing open. But this doesn't have side cases so what is that all about i've never seen that um and then the passenger so yeah a lot of things i gotta kind of get refreshed on this to uh really be more knowledgeable to explain to you more information even though i've already got the honda goldwing up here but that's very interesting to see what that's all about what does that mean now i'm very curious myself why it's doing that it didn't do that earlier so i don't know or is it because I didn't close my rear trunk? I did. So, it shows, see, it shows that. So now why is it showing that? But I wonder once I start it up, if that goes away. So I'm not really making a long video here, but it's just, once again, the pluses and the minuses of this motorcycle. And let's see if we start her up. If that goes away, it does not. That's interesting. That could be a software glitch could be a plug and play thing when they put this thing together that they plug something up and I don't know I have no idea so the glitches right it's brand new and we'll find out the hard way what the good and the bad is so uh, but it's anyways great riding machine and anybody else out there looking at the trikes it's more money than a Harley so you're gonna have to divvy up more money but I think in the long run the value the enjoyment is gonna outweigh it so I would go with the Honda, if you really watch my channel, I gave Harley every bit of a chance to buy a Harley and it never played out to where I felt good about doing the deal. So there it is. As always, you have the Honda hat on, Honda gear. Really appreciate everybody watching my channel and stay tuned for more conversations and another adventure to Timber Honda. What am I doing next? Well, stay tuned. God bless.